Coming up first, we have Fantasy Vibes Fadeaways. Players that I'm not touching today on April the 12th, 2021. And Joe Ingles, you are up first, my guy. Now, I know you came in and did your thing on Monday, and you shined in a role where you were the starter. And that was because Mike Conley was out. Uh, Jordan Clarkson was also out. And um, they gave me a lot of hope, especially as a Joe Ingles fan and supporter. But um, today, your price is at 5900 slightly up above what it was yesterday. And in games where you are a reserve, you average 22 fantasy points on DraftKings. In games where you are a starter, you average 30 points fantasy-wise on DraftKings. Mike Conley is probably going to return tonight, which means that it's going to push your role back to the bench. And you, sir, are a fadeaway. I'm not touching you today. And it's nothing personal, ISO Joe. Not to mention that this game could be a blowout as well. So that is something to think about. Other players that you're going to fade away today. Goran Dragic. I understand that Goran Dragic is a is a great name. Um, he's been somebody that has been hard to figure out when it comes to fantasy, especially in a season that's been kind of like difficult for for Goran. But if I strictly take it from a fantasy perspective, he's failed to crack twenty three DraftKings points in six straight games while posting a sixteen point average in that entire span, and. When you factor in they're playing Phoenix tonight, that is a top five defense. Um, the numbers don't really look pretty all year for Goran, and I don't think that they look pretty tonight. Goran, you are actually a player that I'm fadeawaying tonight, and I'm not touching you. Um, last but not least, the price uh, was 4600 So that should give you a little bit more, more perspective on why I'm low on Goran Dragic. Now it's time for a segment I would like to call Worth the Bread while I get into players that you don't even have to think about. Just go ahead and add them to your lineups and build your lineup around them. They're players that are worth the bread. Coming up first, we have Donovan Mitchell of the Utah Jazz staying with the theme. Donovan Mitchell has been on a hot streak as of late, and it only gets hotter when you factor in that they're taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder, who ranked 22nd in defensive efficiency and ranked 22nd in points allowed. When you factor in that the Jazz have been rolling as of late and that Donovan Mitchell has scored at least 50 DraftKings, 50 fantasy points and 54 uh, DraftKings fantasy points within the last four games in that span, it makes it easier for me to say, Donovan, you're worth the bread. <laughs> Coming up next, we have Paul George and the Los Angeles Clippers, and he's going for a price of 8700 tonight. Paul George is worth the bread. Why? He's playing his former team. Last time he played his former team, he had 63 points fantasy-wise in his best game of the season last year. Now, I understand that he has missed. He sat out a couple of games last week, and he didn't have that pop game that you could hope for. But what if I told you that he scored 51 fantasy points in three straight games, and he's taking on the Indiana Pacers, his former team, Paul George. Don't even think about it. It's worth the bread. Coming up next, we have Jason Tatum on the Boston Celtics. And let's just keep it a book. The matchup here is just so enticing where it makes, even if even if we don't have the supreme studs or we're dealing with players that are hurt or injured um, that we're not going to try, it makes it easier for me to trust a player like Jason Tatum than, than I would be trusting uh, Trey Young in this spot who's coming off of an injury, even if it is a more enticing matchup against Toronto or um, another player on the same game, but uh, Damian Lillard on the opposite side, who's going for a, right, a higher price than uh, Jason Tatum, uh, or right around that price in 9,100. Um, it makes it say to myself, well, Jason Tatum, he's going to be in a position where the Boston Celtics, uh, in, the last three, in the last three games, Jason Tatum has at least 46 fantasy points. And he's generating a 56-point DraftKings average in that in that span. And we factor in the Trailblazers ranked 29th in defensive efficiency. That should give you all the information that you need. Jason Tatum, he's worth the bread. All right, let's go rapid fire. I'm here to give you some of the top plays today. Value is what we're searching for on a special edition of Fantasy Vibes Value Plays. Coming up first, we have Andre Drummond, City of Angels, Los Angeles, Lakers, 6700 is his price. 
let's just be real. Andre Drummond's price should not be 6,700, and he was playing at a 9K level earlier this year when he was averaging 45 DraftKings points a night every single time he touched the floor. And this is when he was at the Cavaliers. That's at a 9K level. And when you factor in LeBron and AD aren't playing, it makes it even more for him to get the touches that he needs to be productive. And then the icing on the cake is that he's taking on Charlotte, who are surrendering the seventh most uh, fantasy points to opposing centers. So can you smell barbecue chicken? I smell it in the air. Coming up next, we have Malcolm Brogdon, 6700 at the same price for the Indiana Pacers. Now, Brogdon had came on so amazing on Sunday, and he rewarded his managers that will have been patient with him as he's been dealing with injuries and trying to get readjusted. But he finished with 63 DraftKings points on that Sunday extravaganza, and that put him just north of 40 points uh, per game fantasy-wise on the season. That is clutch. And with him being at 7K in that value range, it doesn't matter if he's taking on the Grizzlies. It doesn't matter if he's taking on the Clippers. He's still a great play at that price. So I'm trusting Brogdon today in a game against uh, the Clippers. Now, another player who I'm trusting tonight is Robert Williams, Boston Celtics, 6000 uh fantasy dollars that he's going for. Tom Lord averages 1.4 DraftKings points per minute that he plays. What if I told you that he only has been playing roughly 23 minutes a night? You can do the math. Now, over the last 21 games played, Tom Lord is averaging 33 DraftKings points per game. And it's scary to think that he's taking on the 29th ranked Portland Trailblazers defense tonight um, in a game that could be very high scoring. I'm going to trust Tom Lord tonight. Another person I'm trying to trust tonight is Kyle Lowry, and I understand that he's been struggling this season with the foot issue, and um, but he put up 40 points in DraftKings on Sunday coming back, and um, that kind of ruined the hopes of Malachi Flynn supporters. But the, the good thing is that Nick Nurse is not afraid to play both of them at the same time. So if you're a Malachi Flynn supporter, you still have an opportunity to keep him on your roster to see how this whole thing shakes out. But what if I told you that Kyle Lowry has been so productive in fantasy, averaging 38.7 DraftKings fantasy points since February? This man is very, very consistent. What if I told you tonight they play the Atlanta Hawks, who have who ranked 30th against opposing point guards that gives you even more of an enticing reason to play Kyle Lowry tonight other players that you need to consider uh mentioning um are Reggie Jackson 5400 and I understand that it's risky but it's sneakily he's playing one of some of his best basketball right now and over his last 10 games play Reggie Jackson is averaging 27 DraftKings points per game across 28 minutes a night and when you take on the Pacers, who rank 20th in total defense, hey, he's worth, he's a value play. Uh, Terry Rozier, who the Hornets are missing, uh, Lomelo Ball, Malik Monk, Gordon Hayward. Uh, he's still giving his, uh, he's, Terry Terry is still giving his uh, opponents uh, nightmares. And he has a 30% usage rate, which is extremely enticing. And honestly, his season average is north of 35 fantasy points per game, so he's very productive. But I understand that the Lakers are a stout defensive team, but their team is taking a great step back, especially with the injuries to LeBron and to AD. Terry Rozier is not really that hard to miss for 8,200. And it's crazy to think that Terry is going higher than Malcolm Brogdon tonight and Kyle Lowry. Uh, another player from the Los Angeles Lakers you might need to take a chance on tonight is Taylor Horton Tucker, who's going for a price of 5300 And I understand that LA is missing their stars, which I just talked about before. But T uh, THT is having one of his best stretches of his career, and he has at least 26 fantasy points in four straight games, providing a 32-point average in that time span. Now, the Hornets are 28th against opposing small forwards. And let's just let's just be honest. Him, Kuzma, both of them, I could see them if they play 
I can see them being consistent as far as their production and hitting their hitting their mark at fifty five uh, k and I think fifty three k for Taylor Horton Tucker. So those are some plays tonight on this slate. And since I love you, I'm gonna give you an honorable mention. Honorable mention is Robert Covington, Portland Trailblazers, and he's been he's been killing the price tag that he's been under right now, averaging thirty one DraftKings points per game since the beginning of March, and it's not like Boston is scary uh, when it comes to their matchup either. And I can see um, the Celtics, who are ranking 18th in defensive efficiency. I can see it being a defensive game for Robert Covington, who just got you like four blocks last week. So he's definitely productive. Now it's time for the segment that y'all been waiting for, Fantasy Vibes Dream Team. I'd like to start out by saying that this episode is sponsored by Real Ones Productions. And make sure you're following us on all of our socials. Make sure you're following me at Super Moon Vibes on Twitter, Instagram, and every other where you can connect uh, socially. I'm playing DraftKings. I'm playing the traditional classic style, the 50000 salary cap. I have eight players on my roster. And it's my job to put together the best lineup uh, for tonight, April the 12th, 2021. With that being said, um, the positions are point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward, center. And then you have a guard, forward, and utility player. I'm going to start off with my lower range seeds. And then I'm going to work my way up to my starters. And we're going to get into this dream team. So coming up first. Value play of my day that I'm banking on to give me just some type of love is Rajon Rondo. Rajon Rondo is going for a price of 3400 and I'm just banking on the fact that he's coming in off of an injury. And he seems like he does. he's not carrying any injury designation going into this game. Now they're taking on Indiana, and they're going to need to control the pace and need to control the ball. Um, I don't think that Reggie Jackson is going to get the whole share of the minutes, especially with them dealing with injuries to Patrick Beverly. Um, but I could see that Rondo will be a facilitator mode, and I'm banking on him getting high assist and high defense of uh, turnovers, um, whether it's steals, blocks, and him just being Rondo. That's what I'm banking on. Um, and the price is just too great to pass up. So if it gives me if any even two times the value um, of what his price is, then I'm happy. Um, coming up next is Markeith Morris on the Los Angeles Lakers, and he's going for a price of 5000 similar to him. The... OPRK opponent ranking is 30th in the league. The Charlotte Hornets are when it comes to his position, Markeith at power forward. So the Hornets are not really good against the centers. Power forwards are just not really a good defensive team. They play fast, but they're not really good defensively. Um, but Marcus Marquise Morris's price being at 5,000 is enticing, especially when he just put up 17 points, four assists, two rebounds, one block in 26 minutes. And this is all while he had an ankle injury that he got retaped and then came into the game again. Now, I understand that, you know, Anthony Davis and LeBron are not playing, which makes me try this play even more. But in the last game, he had 27.5 points. And um, he basically met me right at that 5,100 mark. He's going for a $100 cheaper, and I'm going to trust him today. Um, my guard that I'm putting into that slot and my utility players is Marcus Smart taking on the Portland Trailblazers tonight, going for a price of 6200 his um, opponent ranking is 27th against point guards and shooting guards. And um, Portland's just a bad team defensively, um, similar to the Hornets. But Marcus Smart averages 29.7 fantasy points for a game on DraftKings. And I understand that last game, he only produced 14 points, five foot six, four rebounds, and he didn't do anything for you defensively. But I think this changes in a sloppy and sluggish game where they're going to try to be outscore um, each other like crazy even in the first quarter so um i'm banking on defense 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 and this is what is going to shine most for marcus smart in the game um similar to like how how i would see a robert coveting coveting in this role i just think marcus smart is more valuable to his team than a robert coveting is um now uh marcus smart is coming off of a 24 point effort on friday so it's not like he cannot score um, but I just think that um, in this price was 6,100. Uh, last time he was at this price, he gave me 26.3 fantasy points. And then he had another one where he gave me 41.5. Um, and those are the only two last uh, 
uh, last points that he was at that price. So that's what I'm taking. And plus, I just need Celtic stock right now. Now we get to our starting lineups. I'm going to break this down quickly. I already talked about Brogdon. I got him as my point guard going for 6700 It's just too nice of a matchup to pass up. And, and that price is just beautiful right there. It doesn't matter if he's taking on the Clippers, um, the, the Warriors, the Grizzlies, the Kings. It doesn't matter. Um, and the Clippers off, um, opponent ranking is only 15th against po- point guards. So it's not like they're like supremely clamped. So I'm going to bank on Brogdon being my source of points today. And then coming up after him, same game, Paul George. I already talked to you. Revenge game, going back to Indiana. Um, he's on a hot streak right now. And Kawhi, I don't think Kawhi is playing. So that gives me more confidence to start PG tonight at 8,700. Um, then coming up next after him is Jalen Brown on the Boston Celtics. He's going for a price of 7,800. And I just felt like it was too good to pass Jalen Brown up just because his price. Being in that small forward range, um, let me just look just to give y'all an idea because, you know, the price range. Kawhi Leonard is out tonight at 9,700. Jimmy Butler is a tough matchup against Phoenix at 9,300. Then there's a big dip from 9,300 to 7,800, and that's where you can get Jalen Brown. Then it's another dip when it goes to OG on and Ananobi on the Raptors. Um, I'll, give, I'll take Jalen Brown in that spot gladly. Um, just because I think that he's going to have more than enough opportunities to score and more than enough opportunities to pad his stats by getting to the free throw line. So give me Jalen Brown. Uh, I'm going to actually take the other Marcus brother, um, Morris brother, Marcus Morris Sr., uh, because he finished with 33 points recently. He went 13 to 18, six straight from three point range, six rebounds, and one steal for the Clippers. And um, listen. The absence of Kawhi Leonard is really helping push Mark, uh, Marcus Morris into a a great range when it comes to uh, being valuable f- off the bench. And I understand that Kawhi is going to come back, but I still think that Marcus Morris is going to maintain a plentiful, plentiful role, and he's going for a price of 5000 right now. It's just too good. Him and his brother is priced at the same price. Um, they're priced at the same value. <laughs> Uh, and then last but not least, my center, it was it was a hard decision for me to go here because I debated going DeAndre Ayton against Bam Adebayo tonight. Um, some other players that I could have picked in this a slot was Andre Drummond, who I just talked to you about, who has an enticing matchup. Um, sleeper play might be uh, Moses Brown if you really want to do it. But because there's such a significant drop-off from the top centers in the league with AD being hurt, Zabonis being at 8,800, I'm not about to spend 8,800 for Zabonis tonight. Paso Siakam, I'm not about to spend 8,600. Clint Capella is going for 8,500. Bam Adebayo is going for 8,400. Then Rudy Gobert, who disappointed last night, is going for 8,000. The next drop to there is 6,900. And that's where you have Chris Boucher, who's coming off the bench for the Toronto Raptors, and in his last game, he dominated the glass and rim protection for the entire game, and he has registered at least 15 points for the third time over his last four appearances, so he's scoring. It's been kind of his Achilles heel. He had 44.5 in his last game at this price. Um, it was close to this price. It was 6,800, and that was just on the 11th. So, hey, it's a back-to-back against the Hawks, and last time he played the Hawks, it was an underwhelming matchup uh, for Atlanta, um, and he got busy, and he showed up, so I'm thinking on Chris Boucher to go crazy tonight. So with my lineup, I have Malcolm Brogdon, Paul George, Jalen Brown, Mar- uh, Marcus Morris Sr., Chris Boucher, Marcus Smart, uh, Marquise Morris, and Ray John Rondo is my lineup for tonight. And I'm going to go ahead and save this and lock this in. And hopefully we can win some money, win some cash tonight, and and just be competitive in Daily Fantasy. I'm your host, Moon Vibes. This is Fantasy Vibes, the newest wave of fantasy content for you and yours. Um, Stay tuned because we do have football content coming very, very, very soon. Um, But I'm so feeling this basketball wave right now. As I help prepare you to win a fantasy basketball championship and go deep in the playoffs, um, for your host Moon Vibes, this is a Real Ones production.
And make sure you follow us on all of our socials at Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, Snap, Snappy Snap, and of course Patreon. Make sure you follow me as well at Super Moon Vibes on all of my socials. That's where you can connect with me at. For me and mine, I send to you and yours off into this wonderful day. And hopefully you get a chance to ball out tonight in Daily Fantasy. And, and then Triple J, Jerry Jackson, uh, Memphis Grizzlies went to the 12th. Uh, Jimmy Two Blunts. And he just added to his team first pick in the Kelly second Uber. round. He took Kelly Uber. <laughs> Playing better, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, no. hey, who we take though? <laughs> Ellie, Selly, oh, Selly Uber. He took Kelly Selly Uber. Uber. Selly.